Hello everyone, it is Dave from Motivational Cup here to bring you a new video. Today we are going to be testing to see which of these new intelligence services give you the best. We're going to take a look at the new Apple Intelligence Siri, Siri 2.0, and then we're going to actually compare it to OpenAI's ChatGPT. Now remember there's ChatGPT 3.5 and 4 and 4 Plus and all these. We're just going to go ahead on and test the GPT-4 because it's most compatible to Siri right now. And we're just going to do some simple things. We're just going to go ahead on and ask them each the same exact questions and see how to respond. With no delay, let's jump into the video. Let's start off with the uh, chat GPT first. Let me hold it a little longer. What's today's weather in Evergreen Park, Illinois? Are you asking about something specific in Evergreen Park, Illinois? It could be about the weather, places to visit, or anything else. Let me know what you're looking for. What's the weather today? Today in Evergreen Park, Illinois, the weather is mostly sunny with a high around 91 degrees Fahrenheit. There's a light south wind with gusts up to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, it will be mostly cloudy with a low near 73 degrees. There's a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the early morning hours, but the chance of precipitation is low at about 20%. Tomorrow, expect a partly sunny day with a high around 88 degrees. When is the next day of the rain in Evergreen Park? The next chance of rain in Evergreen Park is early tomorrow morning with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms before 10 a.m. After that, the next significant chance of rain is on Thursday, with a possibility of showers and thunderstorms. Should I cut my grass today? Yes, today would be a good day to cut your grass. The weather is mostly sunny with no rain expected during the day, and the temperature is manageable, although it will be quite warm. It's better to mow earlier in the day when it's cooler, Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy your day and happy mowing. All right, quite simple. We did an entire conversation. We had a dialogue with ChatGPT. Um, we asked them about the weather, when it's going to rain again, uh, should we mow our lawn? And they gave some pretty good substantial answers. I, I, I kind of liked it. It was almost like talking to another person. Let's do the same thing with the new Siri here. Let's bring her up right here because they have this new animation when you hold it. And we're gonna ask the same question. Okay, here we go. Hey Siri, what's the weather in Evergreen Park today? Should be sunny today. When is the next time it's gonna rain in Evergreen Park? It doesn't look like it's going to rain today. Should I cut my grass today? Hey Siri, should I cut my grass today? I found this on the web. Okay, well that answered that question. All right, and there's some other things to my understanding that you can do with these new uh, services that um, is a little bit unique. Uh, for example, ChatGPT is alleged to be able to actually build images off of anything that you request. Um, let's try, let, 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 let's test it out. Can you draw me a picture? Sure. What would you like the picture to be of? Um, draw me a picture of a house uh, next to an ocean with some birds in the sky. Here's the picture of the house next to the ocean with birds in the sky. I hope you like it. You can check out the images in our conversation history. Okay, well, let's go to the conversation history and check it out. Thank you. You're welcome. If you have anything else in mind, feel free to ask. Enjoy checking it out. Wow. It drew the picture. 
here it is. There's the birds. There's the house. <laughs> and there is the ocean. Amazing. Okay, let's try Siri. See what she can do. Hey, Siri, can you draw me a picture? What do you want to search for? I want you to draw me a picture of a house next to an ocean with some birds in the sky. Here are some images of house next to an ocean with some birds in the sky from the web. Okay, so we can see that Ceres has an obvious limitation right now, but remember that Siri is in a beta mode. Uh, there's supposed to be some additional things added to Siri in the future, which are um, kind of like uh, some on-screen awareness. They're supposed to add in some other things that's supposed to come out in September. Uh, just mindful, I just wanted to show you all this quick video on the two different um, virtual reality apps here that you can use in order to try to get information from the different things that are available. Please remember that ChatGPT comes in a plus uh, format. It's a $19.99 a month. So basically the difference between the plus and the just the free ChatGPT is the amount of messages that you can push. They claim you can match out, um, you can map out like 40 messages in a three hour period. Uh, we find that that really didn't work. We had about 10 messages, uh, 10 questions that we can get out, and then it reverted us back to the free and told us to wait three hours until you can come back again and try. There you have it. We tried both services here, and we wanted to see which one was better. Was it Apple's Intelligent Siri or ChatGPT? Just to be fair, um, Apple Intelligent Siri is in beta format. It is not set to be released fully until September of this year, um, where they're going to add on some uh, on-screen awareness and some other uh, things that you will be able to utilize. I can't wait to see what else it can do. But in between now and then, we just wanted to do a quick, simple test here to show you all which one um, that could work the best for you and your lifestyle. As you can see, ChatGPT gave us kind of like a conversation back and forth. We were flowing and we were talking, speaking to each other. Siri was still pretty much basic, a little bit more advanced than what she normally is. But overall, ChatGPD did a better job at answering our questions and providing a picture for us that Siri just cannot do at this time. So until the next time, it's Dave here at Motivational Cup, keeping you aware of things. We just want to motivate you to try out new things to see what fits for you in your life. Until next time, I'll see you then.